Direct News TV. August 9, 2023. IRE FM ordered to reimburse workers for COVID salary cuts, Jenaica. The Industrial Disputes Tribunal, IDT, today ruled that employees at Grove Broadcasting Company Limited, IRE FM, are to be reimbursed for a 2020 salary cut implemented by the radio station. The matter was brought by the National Workers' Union, NWU, on behalf of the staff. In its 18-page ruling, the IDT said that IRAE-FM's unilateral decision to implement salary cuts on employees was not in keeping with good industrial relations practices and contravened the provisions of the Labor Relations Code. The tribunal ruled that employees affected by the salary cuts, which occurred between April and September 2020, are to be paid the difference in their salaries for the said period. IRE-FM, in March 2020, informed employees of its intention to implement mass layoffs due to the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. The workers, in response, took industrial action on March 31. A meeting between the radio station and the NWU resulted in an agreement for employees to resume work on April 1 and for the company to withdraw the layoff letters. It was also agreed that both parties would have further discussions to address the issues they faced. On April 20, IRE-FM announced its decision to lay off a number of staff as well as to reduce the salaries of the remaining staff complement. The NWU sought the assistance and intervention of the Ministry of Labor and Social Security to contest the company's decision but no resolution was reached. The dispute was referred to the IDT for determination and settlement. My name is Kingsley. Please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be the first to be notified whenever we post you won't regret it.